Hey guys, it's Void Concept here, and I am back for another Oblivion Map Project uh, update. And what? It hasn't been over a month. I've actually got an update that isn't that didn't take a month to do, and that is thanks to the 1.7 uh, updates or snapshots. They kind of brought me back to Minecraft a little bit more, and I decided with the addition of all the new flowers to go around and add some life to most of this map. And I wish that I could keep vines from growing because it should only be like that. I don't know, that was kind of a test. In fact, I think I'm just going to delete it for now. Um, but anyways... I'll just do a quick fly through of this area. Um, these poppies here are supposed to be mushrooms, but if we take a mushroom out here, can't place one out in broad daylight. You can't under tree. No, maybe not. They spawn under trees, but I guess you can't plant them under trees. Uh, unless they're low enough, I guess, maybe. But yeah, they're supposed to be mushrooms, but they're poppies. And I'm not going to retexture them to look like mushrooms, because I'm going to use these elsewhere. So instead, a little bit more, um, I don't know. My train of thought just left me. <laughs> so anyways, there's little rocks around, and it, like there are in Oblivion. Uh, that's what these cobble things are, and the roses, and lots of little um, grass, and some of the bigger grass here. Uh, and you'll notice that the chests are gone here. They didn't move far, but I'm not going to give any hints as to where they are, other than they're close. Over here, even in around the buildings here, these little grass patches have them. In here... Just a little bit more. I think that tree was already there. If it wasn't, then new tree. I think I added a tree somewhere that there wasn't one already. Um, lilac here. And more flowers and t double tall grass and all that type of stuff. Uh, I think there's... It's not this side, it's the other side. That There's something that I missed on my first go-around. And that was this little trap door here um, down to the sewers. I think pretty much all the districts have one. I haven't found the one in the temple district. But yeah, this is the way down to the sewers in the Talos Plaza. And obviously, I don't have the sewers yet. And it's supposed to be on the other side, but can't really build down from here. So instead kind of have that blocked off for now so nobody like falls down into it although this map is on creative at the moment so it doesn't really matter over here I think on the other side there's something interesting but I don't know um, but over to the other district I can get rid of this now uh, inside of these just more plants and stuff. This is actually supposed to have one of those little, um, like, you can go through it, like, here and the other building as well, but I miss that somehow, and I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, more lilacs. Lilac and, uh, poppies are the most common flowers in this area, in the map so far since most of them, uh, the plants in Oblivion kind of look like lilac. And of course the mushrooms and... I don't know if they have roses or red flowers in... Um, in the actual Oblivion map, but... Over here is the Arboretum. I did say I was going to come back and make it look more lively, and in fact... I need some more bone meal, because this looked a little not as lively, I guess. So, 
yeah, lots more plants and stuff. And of course, Kinrith has most of the stuff around it. This is a flower that uh, isn't used anywhere else except for here so far. And there's another one over there, and I think there's another place with two of them somewhere nearby here. Uh, there it is. And in these little planter things I forgot to show in the Talus district, you have these flowers here, Allium, and uh, Blue Orchids. Blue Orchids are going to be semi-rare, I think, since I've only seen them in those little planters. And they're supposed to be like those blue mushroom thingies in the actual game. So, let me get rid of I think, which I think it was this one that popped up. Yeah, this is technically a swamp, so. And this is actually uh, extreme hills. Yeah, this was rendered as a or generated as an extreme hills. I need to go back and change this all to swamp, and maybe a little bit of patches of extreme hills. That was my plan before. I have made no progress on uh, the arena or any of the other districts, but I did uh, re go back and change some of the redstone, the teleports. So if you remember from before, there's a teleport in here that will bring you up to the uh, little observation deck up there. If you come down here. And now that actually works, uh, using relative coordinates rather than actual coordinates, so that if you move this thing... Oh, I forgot to rebuild this wall. I'll do that now. So if you move this entire uh, tower, this teleport will still work. And I've done the same with the um, four buildings in the Talos Plaza district. Um, over here. I'll just break in and show one. They all work. Um, well, I, I don't know. I'll show two of them because one of them is kind of derpy. So, yep, teleports. It, the target is actually right here, but depending on where you touch the pressure pad, you'll end up somewhere nearby it. So, it was going to be targeted here, but sometimes you would land there and obviously you get teleported. So, is that supposed to be like that? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, where did I break in? There it is. I'll go over... I think this one is the other... the derpy one. If you go in here... Yeah, you get teleported on top of the table here, and this is... I guess that little block is supposed to be missing. So, yeah, this is like the abandoned one, and it's the only different one of the batch, pretty much. I think I mirror-imaged that one, maybe that one, I don't know, but, um, yeah, they're pretty much the same. And, oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys one more thing, and ask your opinion. So, in the actual Oblivion game, Mobs and, um, what do you call it, plants respawn after a while, and through the new set block commands, I have actually found a way to spawn in double high plants. And actually, this is the uh, other code for it. So if you change this one down one and this one down one, you'll actually get a rose. Did I actually change it? Oh, I press cancel, derp. Uh, ten. I thought it was... Yeah, okay. So that will change it to a rose. Uh, if I change this down to nine and this one to three... We will get a fern, um, eight and two will give double tall grass, seven and one. So apparently, 
seven and one, or having that spawn in a data, data value of one, not only crashes your game, but corrupts the world. I can't load it anymore because it continues to try to execute that command. So, all of the redstone stuff that you showed me, or that I showed you, is now gone. So if I come over here, you will notice that this sign is back, which means that these no longer work. So it looks like, well, I can still get in there with uh, MC Edit and can copy the commands, so I don't have to restart from scratch, but yeah, it's a good thing I decided to back up this world before starting. I just wish that I backed up the world before starting this video. Oh <laughs> uh, well. So, anyways, I think I, with that I'm going to leave it off and go back and fix the rest of these. That was the first thing I did, so these guys aren't even, aren't going to work either. Yep, got a sign here. So, I guess I will go do that and call it a video. So, oh, yes. Actually, before I end off, I was going, I need to get to the point of why I wanted to show you that little redstone thing. And that is, um, like in the Oblivion game, um, every ye think it's every week or so uh, things will spawn back in so like monsters and stuff like that um, and what I w was going to ask you guys is should flowers and mobs respawn every month like they do or not month every week like they do in the game and that's seven day night cycles so every time night turns to day as long as it does it seven times, then it will, um, my brain just left me, uh, then things will start to respawn. I'm not sure, it, this will require a lot of redstone, I'll probably try to make an MC edit filter for it, um, and that filter actually may be, um, useful for more people in different situations, so I may do that anyway. I first have to learn... what is it, Python? I don't know, the language for it. Um, but that should be fairly simple, I would say. I looked at it l a little bit, some of, I think, Seth Bling's code, and it isn't really all that hard to understand. The problem is going to be learning enough of it to write it. Um, I'm a computer science major, by the way, so don't feel bad if you look at the, that code and be like, what is going on? So, anyways, I think I'm going to leave it off here and fix the map. Uh, tell me down below, I'm probably going to get like one response. Uh, should things respawn every uh, week? Or should I save myself the trouble and just say that there's a finite amount of these flowers um, for the alchemy thing that I'm, I probably haven't even mentioned, um, that I plan to um, bring into this map. So like an alchemy system. So collect flowers, you can trade them in for potions. So anyways, I've rambled on probably for another two minutes after I said I was going to end. <laughs> Like I do, I think, every single episode so far of this map. So, uh, that is all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.